Governor Little has said that he, he would love to be able to give the people of Idaho another tax cut on top of the $120 million tax cut last year, as long as the, um, the promise that's been made to the funding for education can be kept whole um, and to be able to keep giving more money to education. But again, that is up in the air. Um, he said and it's a wait and see because of um, the withholding issue right. right now. Revenues are down, but that's uncertain whether or not that's going to be made up when people realize they actually owe more money this year. The legislature cut the income tax and now we have this withholding challenge, but at the same time they took away the homeowner's exemption. And so as property taxes go up, particularly in areas where we've seen valuations occur at a very high level, the legislature, by the nature of what they did, took away a really important uh, piece of tax relief, and that is the homeowner's index exemption. So what we're going to find out here in April is people are going to be upset about the fact that their property taxes have gone up because the majority took away the in index exemption, but then they're going to owe money even though they thought they were getting a tax break because of the way that our withholdings worked out. So I, I see March and April as being a little bit tumultuous for anybody who's in the legislature given these current tax challenges. Okay, we'll see how that turns out. Yeah.